Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar um, in ACLS on pharmacological tools. Any of the ACLS medications discussed should be done within your scope of practice. The dosages we discuss will contain only adult dosages, indication, and routes of administration for the most common ACLS drugs. Adenosine is a drug that's used for narrow PSVT, SVT, and wide QRS, which you should avoid in an irregular wide QRS. The correct dose is 6 mg IV bolus, which you may repeat with 12 mg in 1 to 2 minutes. Some notes to think of when using adenosine is rapid IV push close to the hub followed by a saline bolus, continuous cardiac monitoring during administration, and causes flushing and chest heaviness. Amiodarone is a drug that should be used for VF, pulseless VT, VT with pulse, and tachy rate control. For VF and pulseless VT, the correct dose is 300 mg, dilute in 20 to 30 m milliliters, and you may repeat 150 mg every 3 to 5 minutes. For stable VT with a pulse, the correct dose is 150 mg bolus followed by amiodarone drip. 300 mg should only be used in a code situation. Some notes with amiodarone is anticipate hypotension, bradycardia, and gastrointestinal toxic toxicity. Continuous cardiac monitoring, very long half-life, up to 40 days. Do not use in second or third degree heart block and do not administer via the ET tube route. Atropine is a drug that should be used for symptomatic bradycardia, specific toxin overdose such as with organophosphates. The correct dose for symptomatic bradycardia is 0.5 mg IV ET every 3 to 5 minutes with a max dose of 3 mg. The specific toxin overdose is 2 to 4 mg IV ET may be needed. Some notes with atropine is cardiac and BP monitoring. Do not use in glaucoma or tachyarrhythmias and the minimum dose is 0.5 mg. For dopamine, it's used for shock or CHF. The correct dose and route is 2 to 20 mcg per kg per minute. Titrate to desired blood pressures. Fluid resuscitation first, cardiac and BP monitoring is what it can also be used for. Epinephrine is used for cardiac arrest, anaphylaxis, symptomatic bradycardia, and shock. The correct dose for cardiac arrest is initial 1.1 mg at 1 to 10,000 IV or 2 to 2.5 mg at 1 to 1,000 ETT every 3 to 5 minutes. Maintain 0.1 to 0.5 mcg per kilogram per minute. Titrate to the desired blood pressure. For anaphylaxis, 0.3 to 0.5 mg IM. Repeat every 5 minutes as needed. For symptomatic bradycardia or shock, 2,000 19 mcg minute infusion tritrate to response. Continuous cardiac monitoring. Distinguish between the 1 to 1,000 and 1 to 10,000 concentrations and give via central line when possible. For lidocaine, it should be used for cardiac arrest of v with a rhythm of VF or VT and wide complex tachycardia with pulse. The dose for cardiac arrest is an initial 1 to 1.5 mg kg IV loading. Then second, you should do half of the first dose in 5 to 10 minutes and maintain 1 to 4 mg per minute. Wide complex tachycardia with pulse, the initial is 0 0.5 to 1.5 mg kg IV. The second is half of the first dose in 5 to 10 minutes and then maintain 1 to 4 mg per minute. Some things to keep in mind with lidocaine is it's recommended when amiodarone is not available for cardiac and BP monitoring. Rapid bolus can cause hypotension and bradycardia, used with caution and renal failure, and calcium chloride can reverse hypermagnesemia. Magnesium sulfate should be used for cardiac arrest, pulseless torsades, torsades day points with pulse. For cardiac arrest and pulseless torsades, 1 to 2 gm diluted in 10 ml D5W IVP. For Tassad's day points with pulse, 1 to 2 gm IV over 5 to 60 minutes. Maintain 0. 0.5 to 1 gm per hour IV. Some notes to consider is cardiac and BP monitoring. Rapid bolus can cause hypotension and bradycardia. Used with caution and renal failure. And calcium chloride can reverse hypermagnesemia. Procainamide. 
should be used for wide QRS tachycardia preferred for stable VT with pulse. Correct dose is 20 to 50 mg per minute IV until rhythm improves, hypotension occurs, or QRS widens by 50% or max dose is given. The max dose is 17 mg per kg. Drip 1 to 2 gm in 250 to 500 ml at 1 to 4 mg per minute. Some notes to consider is cardiac and BP monitoring. Caution with acute MI. May reduce dose with renal failure. Do not give with amiodarone and do not use in prolonged QT or CHF. Sotolol is used for tachyarrhythmia, monomorphic VT, and third-line antiarrhythmic. The dose and route is 100 mg, 1.5 mg per kg, IV over 5 minutes. Do not use in prolonged QT. Don't forget we offer online ACLS certification on our site. We encourage you to become certified as soon as possible, whether that be on your own time with an online course or in an in-classroom setting. You can, find in the link, you can find a link in the description to our course. So thank you so much for tuning into today's webinar. We will catch you next time.